Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Veteran Newt, and today I am going to be doing a Sigma male tier list, okay? I'm going to do a tier list of all the greatest Sigmas in history, because, you know, I myself am a registered Sigma male. You are so Sigma. I am going to be rating these sick. First off, we got Walter White, aka Heisenberg. And uh, I think that's an obvious ultra because he built an entire meth empire and he did it for himself. You know, him poisoning that kid Brock, that was very Sigma of him. Oh, him like killing those Nazis? Very Sigma. Him blowing up Gus, that was Sigma, especially since he blew up a nursing home. That's very Sigma. Next, we got Homelander. And personally, I think Homelander is a beta. So the truth is, you know, Homelander, a lot of people think, you know, he's a Sigma, he's awesome, but Homelander is a loser. He is a bitch with powers. He is basically a little bitch with powers. So I think, yeah, beta male. Actually, I th I think he's more of a baby sig, you know, because, you know, he's a little bitch, but, you know, he, the way he uses his powers, you know, he, um, uses it to manipulate people, you know, um, Homelander, you know, he, uh, he's, you know, he's done some, you know, cool stuff, you know, so, yeah, so, yeah, even though he's a little bitch, I don't know if Beta Male works for him, I think Baby Sigma might be better, because he's, he's a little baby, but, you know, he's still Sigma. Blow a train. Go over there, pull out Adrian's cock. Blow it. Next we got the Joker. I think Joker is a beta male because he is a crybaby with mental illness. We got Django. Django, you know, he's a Sigma male, you know, he, he's a free man, he escaped, you know, he's, he's pretty based. I don't know, he's not Walter White level Sigma, but he is a cool Sigma, you know, he saved his wife, he killed a bunch of racists. Okay, next one will be Kratos. So, Kratos, I think he's cool. I think, you know, he's a Sigma male. What bumps him down is that he, you know, he cares a bit too much for his kid, you know, we can't have that. Next one is Ryan Gosling. So this isn't any particular Ryan Gosling character, it's just Ryan Gosling in general, and I think, you know, he's the ultra Sigma male. Here we got Gus. Gus Spring. Now, I think, you know, he is cool, you know, he'd be ultra Sigma male. But, the way he died, though, you know, he got blown up by, you know, an old man, you know, I think that, you know, that puts him in Sigma male, not Ultra Sigma male, Sigma male, and also, plus, he's gay. Okay, next is Patrick Bateman. Patrick Bateman, that's an obvious Ultra Sigma male, you know, like I've ever seen one. Omni-Man, Omni-Man's fake Sigma, because... Even though he was a Sigma, he did stop being Sigma, you know, he became a good guy. So that's not very Sigma. So, we got J. Robert Oppenheimer. J. Robert Oppenheimer is a real-life person 
in real life who created the atomic bomb. And, uh, you know, the movie was great, uh, you know. And uh, I, I think, you know, he is kind of a fake Sigma because he felt bad for doing it. And, you know, that's not, yeah, that's kind of lame. Next, we got Rick. Rick Sanchez. Rick Sanchez is a beta male because he is very cynical and lame. He is just cringe. Now we got Batman. Batman, he is the ultra Sigma male. He is what every young male should aspire to be because he is awesome. Next we got the Punisher. Now the Punisher kills people. You know, he kills bad people. That's a very, very Sigma. Very Sigma. Not Ultra Sigma, but very Sigma. Billy Butcher, he is a fake Sigma because he cares too much about his dead wife and the son his wife had with Homeland right here. And, you know, that that's, that's, uh, that's cuckold behavior, so he's a fix. Now, next we got Tony Montana, Ultra Sigma male. He was unstoppable until he died. Next we got Tony Soprano. And he goes in Baby Sigma because, you know, even though he does a lot of Sigma things, he goes to therapy, which is not very sick. Now we got the original Sigma male, Travis Bickle, who is a Ultra Sigma male, if I've ever seen one, since he was the original Sigma male, and, you know, he, he killed pedophiles, which was awesome. Now we got uh, Tyler Durden, you know, I'm gonna put him in Sigma male, even though you know, you might think Ultra Sigma male, but the thing is, he's not a real person. He is an alternate personality, which uh, makes him just a little below Ultra Sigma and just Sigma male. Next we got Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman is a beta male, if I've ever seen one, because, you know, he admitted to everything in the end, and he felt bad for his actions. That's not very Sigma. Next we got Michael Corleone. And uh, another Al Pacino character. He would be Ultra Sigma male. But the third Godfather movie was shit. So I think that just puts him... Just for the third Godfather movie, he'd just be uh, Sigma male, not Ultra Sigma male. Here we got John Wick. You kill his dog, he'll kill you. Ultra Sigma male. Mike, kid named Finger, Sigma male, you know, Moon Knight, I think Moon Knight fits more into baby Sigma, you know, he's got to get his personalities in check, so yeah, that is my Sigma male tier list, hope you guys enjoyed it.